Hello friends, I'm Kanchan from Akulmac Technologies and you're welcome to our show roundtable and where we have uh, uh, eminent uh, panelists today. Uh, let me introduce all of them to you. Nitu Gupta, who is a CEO of uh, one of the PR uh, agency, Four Seasons. A part of that, uh, she's also teaching media relations and public relations to eminent university in Delhi. We have Sita Srivastava, who is closely associated with radio broadcasting. He has a deep interest in corporate training. So welcome both of you on roundtable discussion today. Thank you. How are you, How are you Ritu? Absolutely fine, thank you. How are you, Sitej? I'm well, Kanchan. It is always great to talk to you all the time. So I thought it's an interesting discussion that between, you know, we always discuss. So today we have a third uh, panel with us, Ritu. So it would be an more interesting. Uh, so uh, today's topic is how important is hobbies in the development of children? And can uh, these hobby can be converted into bread earning uh, skill for individuals? So what is your opinion, Ritu, on this? I feel hobbies are very important for any child and every child to go forward because hobby develop them as a person, which is very important in today's world. And, you know, hobbies can be, you can, you know, you can do your hobby in group, you can do your hobby all alone also. So in both the cases, it increases your confidence and it also allows a child to de-stress himself or herself, which is very important. And, you know, the kid, the child learns to socialize and it also enhances your creativity, which is very important that any person, whether you are going to do some kind of a job, you're going to work in corporate or you going to be some kind of an entrepreneur, you need to be creative because creativity helps you think out of the box. That's yes. what I feel. Yes, uh, true. Uh, you're well, you have mentioned valid point because I also see, uh, feel that hobby benefit children in many ways. It is it gives child an opportunity to express themselves. It allows them to discover themselves and build self-esteem. And also, uh, I think in a, a process or in a way, uh, uh, we achieve goals uh, like uh, problem solving and make decisions by this hobby uh, practicing. So what are your ideas uh, on this subject, Sitesh? Well, Kanchan, I think that we should all have some hobby to pursue because that is what satisfies our heart. Everything else is used to bring food to the table. And therefore, hobby is something that makes us what we are in the core. Many times the hobby needs to be asked or developed that we try to do with our children because there are so many distractions in our life today. It is important for uh, today's children to know what they can pursue as a hobby. But at the same time, you know, some many years back, one of my former boss used asked me this question, what is your hobby? And I told him, and this discussion was happening uh, between the transit time at Tokyo uh, uh, Narita International Airport uh, for a few hours and I said my hobby is writing and he asked me when did you write last I said some one month back and he said no that's not a hobby hobby is that you do every day even yeah. if it is anything Yes, definitely. So hobby is a very essential part of uh, today's uh, children's development, actually, because that also reduces uh, risk of depression, which uh, I think children, most of the children are highly exposed to because they are at home, they are watching television and they are doing online uh, studies. So I think that some kind of break, which is very, very essential for children. And I think parents should also get uh, indulge in these kind of activity because that they will again enhance the happiness. Uh, somehow uh, over the period of time, I think parents are also just doing their professional corporate uh, jobs rather than really getting free time. 
and i think the hobbies uh, can uh, uh, can bring a self development also but Absolutely. now uh, the question is the big question for uh, for both of you what are your hobbies ritu okay <laughs> so i'll tell you uh, my hobbies i uh, i love reading i love reading a lot and i love traveling and i love cooking <laughs> so you know uh, i have of late started thinking that why not i mean uh, why not be a open a cafe or be a halwai be a very you know modern halwai why not so this is what i have of late started thinking about get into cooking as a profession yes and what about you sitesh by hearing ritu now i have more inclination to <laughs> delhi uh, and and uh, apart from the bengali market and uh, parathe wali gali i have one more place to have food well uh, for me the hobby always uh, has been since the day i realized what is the meaning of hobby it was always something which is uh, related to uh, expressing myself in terms of the writing the true real hobby that i developed uh, somewhere around when i was in the high school timings mm -hmm. and it was always remained that and writing and then it moved from writing to uh, to theater to a little bit of vision and now for many many years it it has started with radio and it is continuing with radio kanchan you know about it so i think that it is important to explore something which is called hobby and uh, there are many more ways of doing it today in our times kanchan if you remember uh, pen pal was one of it you know philately was another of it and few more uh, but today there are so many uh, ways of doing it but somehow i always feel the youngsters the kids the children when i ask them what is your hobby and they have nothing to say or they suddenly mm. perplexed because nobody has asked them this question so mm. it's important to pursue it for ourselves and it is also important to inculcate and the mm. interesting part about hobby is that it, there is no age for it there is no retirement from it is yes, it yes definitely definitely yes. the hobby brings a sense of fun and freedom of life that can help minimize the impact of chronic stress now the big question is uh, again is uh, that uh, uh, many uh, parents don't encourage because there is academic pressure on children so and there are mm -hmm. many schools uh if you really go uh, counting the school there are many schools who have cut down the hobbies in terms of the painting is there and acrylic painting uh, or uh, uh, water painting or sometimes making a uh, 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 paper craft and everything is there but i think uh, a hobby has to be turned into a skill now it, it is a era of a skill like like you said that writing uh, sitesh said that you like writing so now uh, when we are talking about writing hobby is there any way in schools from very early age when children can be taught in marketing writing or in copywriting or is news writing so that is very important aspect because it is a hobby but it should not uh, go waste there is a probability that uh, a child can pick up that particular hobby and turn into a career or a bread runner aspect of his life what do you exactly. say uh, ritu yes you know uh, you can uh, and it's very important to do what you love so basically most of the people they love their hobbies and yes people are making their hobby their profession and i have seen some schools in delhi and i think the government is also doing they are changing their syllabus but i have seen in some schools in delhi that nowadays they are teaching journalism in 9 10th and 11 12th classes also there is fashion designing interior designing and also like um, i don't know about in bangalore or like you are in hyderabad but in delhi we have a zero period in school where kids they do what they like doing you have various kind of uh, uh, courses you short term courses which you can take up in the school and that is the time uh, when you get to learn about those things like you know uh, storytelling 
then theaters are being doing uh, i mean are pretty famous in delhi schools so you know you tell kids about various other options and let the child choose what he or she wants to do but you have to give them the taste of all those things and then it's a very good option that the kid decides what he or she wants to do later on in life and you know every child is not good in academics every you can't expect every child to be getting 90% uh 95% i don't know how every second child is getting 95% these days uh but you know what about those kids who get 80% what about those kids who get 60% they're also pretty good people they also have brains it's just that they cannot muck up physics chemistry maths so there has to be some option for those kids also which many of the schools are now thinking of yes uh, because i also in new education policy i think uh, government has stressed on uh, teaching academic with creativity that uh, the aspect which i've seen uh, uh, in in our children currently in fact in my children also going through that phase but again uh, the question is that uh, are we exposing our children at school level like uh, a carpentry or like something animal and wildlife because there mm-hmm. is a social studies as a subject where or for say astronomy the space we have like children read that these are planets and these are asteroid and uh, all uh, all uh, routine education but if mm-hmm. somebody wants to learn beyond that so then if uh, if we are doing this that means we are making a base for ch- our children to find out to become a veterinary uh, technician or animal consultant which is very much required uh, for say because we live among the animals but what we hardly know about the characters of the animal so mm-hmm. i think time has come to really uh, generate these ideas and children and uh, uh, decision makers should uh, should take up uh, this as a discussion or as as some introduce it into into the uh, education curriculum so what do you think uh, sitesh about uh, this particular uh, aspect well well kanchan uh, you certainly sound like an activist when you say that there are there needs to be more that needs to be done well uh, uh, ritu this is a welcome uh, to hear that uh, delhi schools have a zero period in fact that's a very thing and uh, i would take this up in the next ptm which i love to talk to the yes children. in fact my children don't like me talking to their teachers for so long <laughs> so, so i think this this hobby as per se as we have seen in the uh, rest of the world uh, i from uh, a far east in what i have seen in japan what i have seen in africa and for what we know in the western world you know our curriculum whether it is a state board or it is a cbsc it is still far in terms of uh, extra curricular as compared to the international baccalaureate which is ib so i think when you talk kanchan in terms of carpentry and uh, you know all, all those stuff i think that is uh, still we have a far long way to go i'm sure it is happening in the international schools but if this has to enter into our mainstream hobby as a subject and that needs to be seen getting into the government schools as well as the private schools as well as the funded schools together at the same time it is important that we also sensitize the not only our children but also the teachers about teaching the same subject why mathematics cannot be a hobby of someone why physics chemistry cannot be a hobby of someone right so uh, it is it depends on the teacher a creative teacher to get that kind of an interest at the same time when it comes to diy stuff which is carpentry or electricians or something like that you know uh, uh, a folk art uh, calligraphy you know all of that so we all need to create that kind of a curriculum for the teachers training also our country has been more about the rote learning to create i know uh, white collar or blue collar workers and it has to change i hope it will change with the with the kind of data that we have internet uh, uh, easy internet that we have and and uh, i think uh, uh, 
only pandemic is stopping us yes actually you mentioned maths actually so uh, it's a very good point that uh, children can have a hobby as a math but what yes. we are studying but what we are uh, giving our children is a ncert curriculum for math why not a vedic math why not abacus so these kind of things are missing in school curriculum now when we are talking yes. about everything has to be there intact in the school curriculum now children have they according to their interest they can choose what they want to choose as a hobby or maybe extension of that subject uh, if you recall i don't know uh, there has to there used to be supw period in our curriculum yes. long back yes. and then we were allowed yes. as you mentioned the uh, two uh, that it should yes. be zero period so we were allowed to do things so all like knitting making pottery everything used to be there and we learn many things like uh, i tell learned you many. i learned knitting from that that particular period only so all mm. these things has to be there and sub- it has to be uh, available for children to choose so that is very very important and though things are starting but they are very uh, maybe not as per uh, the speed is very low actually the few sc- schools are opting few schools say no like international schools they say no we will be doing something which is a uh, world standard and i think they are leaving uh, behind something which is very crucial for uh, indian children's development what y- your idea Anjan, on this i thing? want to say something here. yeah i want to say because what you say i do completely agree with you but you know the parents have to be made aware about it also because i am um, middle class parents the parents middle class family people they feel that their kid should be getting ni- above 90% should be taking up some good career uh, and settle down somewhere i mean doing something very great in life getting good salary this is all they dream for but then you have to make parents aware about that uh, you know the things are changing and post pandemic things have changed a lot you people have lost their jobs and they have started something new many of the people they have become entrepreneur what they are doing like i know a lady in my building now what she does is she's only uh, into she's created a cloud kitchen she's lost her job she's created a cloud kitchen and now she's doing pretty fine so why not so pay the awareness has to be created among parents among students also themselves that there is a life beyond their academics life also and then they can take it up professionally also but then for that you have to really uh, you know have a road map in your life a proper road map that how you want to do it and parents and kids and the teacher all three are very important in it yes i also want to add one thing because if uh, uh, if you are not sound uh, if you are not happy and hobbies gives you happy uh, happiness so if you are not happy if child is not happy uh, i think i doubt that they will not be able to excel in the academics also now uh, when we are discussing a hobby there is a greater yes, part of really, just one thing i want to ask you yeah since you said happy uh, i have uh, met someone a teacher who is conducting happiness classes in school it's a yes. course of happiness course and yes. it's very important happiness classes right yeah. right so, so this actually, is what i want uh, yes Sorry. actually i i think we are just pursuing the same path but little slow now asitesh you know that skill development is coming up in india and ncert and our prime minister also stress on skill development but then when we talk about skill development uh, the crucial aspect of development comes of soft skill development so are we really uh, uh, really taking this again it's a part of hobby because uh, we do lot of activities when we do software development as a practical like time management or listen and recap mm-hmm. so all these the activities so are we also taking seriously soft skill hobbies along with the with the hard skills and academics so kanchan uh, all through my uh, it life of more than two decades i have always uh, spoken about the soft skills as comparable to the hard skills and all the time mm-hmm. that life has told me 
that hard skills gets you the money the soft skills gets you the happiness and they are <laughs> they don't understand that these are not interchangeable they are exclusively together complementary and supplementary and therefore we also have an it company interestingly in india called happier happiest minds which we, which is founded by a former uh, wipro uh, chairman ashok suta and uh, it is important for uh, two corporates to understand that a person who joins yeah. the company after the college from the campus his longevity into the company is not only dependent on the hard skills but also on the platform of the soft skills that is given by the company to the employee we all know google gives 20% of its time to its engineers to pursue their own projects and some of the greatest tools have come from those projects in india hcl had got this name of asking you know finding out great managers amongst themselves and make them intrapreneurs and uh, that was a great uh, thing to find out some great companies coming out of uh, the hcl fold so i think this is very important not only in the school level but also in the college level and in the corporate but i think in today's especially in the it world where i work i see that there's a lot of such things are happening because we invariably get to know what is happening in california right but probably in other industries it may come a little late but in the middle age when the when the students are in college life after the 12th and those four or five years those four and five years i have re- realized i see that they all are trying to get into those cat and gmat and sat and toefl and gre and those iits and iims whereas the same student in other part of the world which is the developed world is trying to pursue something else and this side the student says are why i have to pursue all that what someone else is telling me so there has to be a lot of balance around it i think what we need to tell ourselves as well as our youngsters uh, when i say youngsters i do not only mean our children i also mean our college going students that today internet is something which has given us a medium to create something so television was called an idiot box because it was just one way but internet is not one way it's two way so we should enjoy internet by entertaining ourselves into all those ott platforms and binge watching but how much are we creating on that are we creating something out of that if we are not creating there is a way to find out some knowledge let us say calligraphy i many people don't know what calligraphy could be until unless they visit a textile museum in amdavad so i think it is important for all of us to uh, when we go to hiring in the colleges i ask this question what is your hobby that's a very important piece of my judgment of picking up someone because the person who comes with a hobby he knows the love of the work that he does and as we all know if you love the work you will never get tired you will never need a holiday right yes so um, i will summarize like uh, uh, ritu has mentioned that she loves cooking and you mentioned writing so all these hobbies should be having a department in um, the school maybe very early like somebody who wants to really know about astronomy or something somebody wants to know um, become a diver so he must have knowledge of how deep he can go the knowledge of sea which uh, you know sitesh we know only very limited maybe 10% of, of our own seas and oceans but what is your but what is your hobby kanchan we never ask ah. this question okay my hobby is talking and that's what i'm doing actually <laughs> okay jokes apart i like painting and i i have excel in painting because i do different type of paintings uh, like acrylic i also do tanjavur 
and some folk paintings so i have developed it uh, over the period of time so i enjoy it and i uh, i really appreciate somebody who is into this these kind of painting because that is a very good painting and a very good hobby i mean and uh, it gives you uh, it de stresses you and uh, lovely actually you, so, so so you can make a caricature of my face yes i can <laughs> great I, yes <laughs> so uh, so as usual is lovely uh, to talk to you both of you ritu and sitesh and uh, i was summarizing that schools and uh, parents uh, should understand uh, because it's high time that they should uh, collaborate uh, academics and uh, hobbies and soft skills because that will uh, uh, result into overall development of a child so what i really foresee or i recommend that every school has should have all these hobby departments and where children can pick choose and develop their hobbies along with academics it was so lovely talk to you ritu and it was so lovely uh, talk to you sitesh we'll meet again in a different uh, interesting topic till then bye bye yeah yeah i will now go and listen to that bye song bye. mat ke sachche yes. thank you <laughs> okay bye bye okay.